this will be my February favorites because this smells so good. Alright, so today's video is going to be about my January favorites. So I'm just here to show you a little bit of my favorites from books to shows, not really, <laughs> from books to graphic design, music, and I don't know, a lot more. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, so some of my favorite YouTubers this month have been Sandy Diana Bang, Lauren Luis, Jada Bunny, and Feature D. So a lot of these YouTubers, well not all, like not a lot, all these YouTubers are vloggers and their content is just so, so, so pretty and it's so inspiring. I really want to implement more edits into my video, especially as a graphic designer. I want to practice my graphic design in multiple, multiple forms. So I want to work on my video editing and then also my thumbnails and stuff so i'm gonna do that more and try to find one style but i am so inspired by feature d her stuff her edits oh chef's kiss and also she is just so productive like i want to be productive like you see somebody who's productive and you want to be productive that's really why i watch vlogs for the most part because they're really inspiring like influencers they're influencing you know and i just love their styles and they're super cool i'm also gonna put other youtubers i like right here so yeah watch the videos and subscribe <laughs> y'all are gonna see this move more than Rage's hat okay don't pay no mind okay okay my next favorite thing for january has been journaling i honestly this journal what i was using it during like 2020 and i was using it as a bullet journal because it has like dots and stuff it's it's a bullet journal but honestly right now i just use it to write down thoughts because i'm just like as someone who loves maximalism and minimalism it's so hard for me to do one thing so when i'm just writing down notes it's just so easy so for this journal i just write down scripts um things that i need to do honestly just anything like i have scripts in here i have notes i have like future video plans just because I need to get my thoughts down and this is like this this is just a draft okay i'm just getting down stuff i'm getting down my thoughts i'm just like okay this is this is period i need to get this down because i'm not gonna remember it you know another thing i've been loving are just like little sticky notes because i need to write down everything also i have a lot of sticky notes so i'm just trying to like use them because i don't want to keep getting new ones and new ones like i have a lot a lot a lot let me show let me show you so not not just those that i showed you but i also have these two why do i need all these so i'm just gonna try to use them for like literally everything and if you have sticky notes i think you should too like i'm gonna use these to study for grocery lists for everything for art stuff like just everything I just think everybody should use them because they're they're really helpful you can stick them everywhere you can see what you actually need to do and they're really important i don't know i just love them you know my next favorite is gonna be the book section honestly i've only read one book during january it's this one pale fire by vladimir nabokov and i have not finished it okay this is how far i am into the book that's how far and there are hundreds of pages not that many but like almost 300 pages so i'm not that far but i will get that far I tried to not stress myself out with book goals and reading goals this year because last year I read like two books and honestly the first book that I read last year or the first book that I finished last year was my favorite book of all time. It was so good and honestly I can't remember the second what was the second book. Oh the second book I read last year was the first book I read last year was um, The Nightingale. My favorite book. Love it. I made a little reading vlog. I should go check that out if y'all want to. Anyways and then the second book that I read was the first to die at the end and that book was really good too but it wasn't my favorite anyways Nightingale was my favorite book and i realized last year that as long as i'm enjoying reading i don't have to have this arbitrary reading goal or say oh i should finish the book in this span of time like as long as i'm actually trying to read and i'm actively reading that's really all that matters because i'm a busy girl like <laughs> i swear i have nothing to do but i'm busy when it comes to reading all of a sudden i have so much to do like you know doom scrolling she's calling one of the other things i love to do now is just put random stuff as bookmarks i mean i've been 
doing this but i don't know i just love like design and stuff i'm just like well i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna keep this but like this i thought this had such cute design but i didn't want to actually put it on my wall because it's like it has such a blank space so it's my bookmark now and i think it's cute yeah Okay, so the next section is going to be the music section. I've listened to, let me see. I've listened to five albums this month. Five. I don't think y'all realize like how much that is for me. Like me personally, that's a lot. That's a lot. I think I've listened to more than that. That's like seven whole albums in a month. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. But okay, so the albums that I've listened to, let me look. Wait, I've listened to more than that. Wait. <laughs> I've listened to like, I've listened to like eight. The, the counter is going up, okay? Okay. So I've listened to Drama by Espa. I've listened to New Jeans Get Up, Disc One and Disc Two by Josh Levi. Emails I Can't Send by Sabrina Carpenter, Southside by Lloyd, Guts by Olivia Rodrigo, and Orchidias by Kelly Uchis. Yeah. So honestly, this was a good listening month. Like not only did I listen to a lot of albums and songs, um, just albums themselves i listen to so many but i think i've also listened to new songs too i can't think of any new songs that i listen to but they're there this was like like oh, this was a really good album month for me so i think my favorite albums out of this list would have to be i think new jeans new jeans is up there and then disc two by josh levi because well out of all of them i listened to disc two by josh levi the most because I found so many songs that I like. Like I just listen to my favorite songs. I'm not gonna lie, I don't listen to the whole album after the first time. I'm just like, there might be an album with no skips, but even then, I'm just gonna play my favorites. <laughs> no skips, my tail. I'm sorry. I'm skipping. I'm skipping songs. It doesn't matter how good the album is. I want to hear my favorite songs in that moment. You know? <laughs> I don't think I could ever say that the album is not is non-skippable because even if all the songs are good, I'm just gonna skip some songs. I'm. <laughs> Like y'all gotta stop lying, please. Anyways, my favorite songs are CeeLo, Birthday Dance, Ego, Heaven, Don't They, The Remix, Winter Money, Vices, and Nosebleeds. Sorry. And Nosebleed. Also, Birthday Dance is blowing up, so like y'all better get on and listen to the song. Okay. And then also Southside by Lloyd. I was like, cause I heard this one song by Lloyd. It was on TikTok. And I was like, okay, this is good, this is good. You know Lloyd, we all we all know him. So I listened to his album, nothing but bops. Like nothing but hit after hit after hit after hit. I was like, cause I just love his voice so much. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna listen to his music. And, cause you know how sometimes like you can like somebody's voice, but you're like, their music might not be that good. His music is that good. I need y'all to get into it. And some of y'all probably already knew that. I didn't know that. I knew about like four songs by him. Like true, true something. I was like, okay. He's a good singer, but nobody be talking about him. But I'm gonna be the one to talk about him. His music is good. Listen to it. And then the last section for this video. If you like it so far, like, comment, and subscribe. You know, you know the YouTube things. Anyways, so the last part of this video is graphic design. Because I'm a graphic design major. So I know I mentioned books earlier, but this book. I didn't really get to get into it, but I looked a little bit into it. Hold on. Whoa. Yeah, I looked a little bit into it, and the pictures in here are so gorgeous. Oh, they're so gorgeous. So basically, this book is a collection of canned food labels made in Japan. That's literally what it says right here. And I don't know, like, the illustrations are just so pretty. I'm just looking at them, the feel of the paper. I don't know. I just feel like it's really important for graphic designers to have physical copies of things that they can look at like don't just depend on one site or anything to look at because you can get inspiration from anywhere like i seen some of my professors because they were on zoom and i was like why do they have all these books like are y'all reading all these books but no i really get it because it's nothing like touching a book and like feeling the paper and actually looking at designs and then looking at your computer and then and then you know, like, I've always loved Japanese graphic design because there's a lot of minimalism in some designs and then also maximalism in some. And as someone who, like, lived in Japan when I was younger, just seeing that, like, I've always loved it. So, yeah. 
And then also, <laughs> this like little mango pack, this dried mango package. I just thought that this was really cute. Like I like the little text, how it's like going over the mango, but how it's also over this too. I thought that was really, really cool. It's on top of it and I don't know. I just love this design. The hierarchy is really cool. I don't know and I just kept it. I'm gonna throw it away now, but <laughs> I just kept this for the video just to show y'all like how everything looks. So that's my favorite design thing. Like I can't talk about my favorite graphic design without talking about this book right here. Even the way that like the staples are, even the way the, the staples, I don't know what they are, but the staples are, like even that is unique. The detail, impressive, it's crazy, it's crazy. So I'm just obsessed, like this is so cute to me. Oh, this is so cute, like I wanna make something like this. Maybe foreshadowing, maybe foreshadowing, but I don't know, this is just so cute, I'm so inspired and I love the music. And I love making this video. So thank you so much for watching. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe.